So Schoology has a lot of apps that you might use that are, you know, integrated in your course, so that, which allows you to, you know, do things like embedding YouTube videos or embedding Quizlets or Kami or anything like that. There are other websites that you might use with your students that you sort of have to use outside the Schoology realm. And for example, the one I'm going to show you today is Kahoot. Um, so when you assign a Kahoot as a homework or an independent activity, um, normally what you would have to do is create that link in Kahoot and then put it into Schoology and when the students click on it, it will jump them out of Schoology in order for them to participate. I'm going to show you a workaround to this so that you could actually embed a Kahoot directly into your course and this way it doesn't move the students outside of your course and we don't have students wandering um, on the internet in places you don't want them to go. So this just really involves doing some embedding of some HTML code. Now that sounds really scary, but really all you need to do for this is know how to copy and paste. I myself know very little about coding, but I do know how to copy and paste coding and embed it, which is what I'm going to show you in just a few easy steps. So I'm going to open up the tab here where I have logged into Kahoot. And this is not a video on how to use Kahoot. There are other um, tutorials out there if you're not familiar with this great resource. So in Kahoot, I've gone into my library where I have some, some various Kahoots ready to go. And let's say, for instance, I want to give this one in particular for my students in Schoology so that they can review for an upcoming test or an upcoming regions, let's say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click play next to this. And I have two different options on how to play this. This is the way to play live in your classroom in real time. And this is the one where you can assign this as homework or you can assign it for independent work. Or if you're absent, you can assign this within Schoology so that the students um, have, are reviewing um, but they're also learning at the same time. So when I create an assigned a, a Kahoot, I have some different options here. So you can change the data as to how long you want this to Kahoot to be available to the students, um, whether you want the, the timer to be on or you want it to turn it off so that the students are really focused on accuracy rather than speed. Um, but that's on by default, but you have some other options that you can play around with here as well. So once you have the options set the way you want and I click create, what this is going to do now is it's going to generate a URL or a website address for this specific Kahoot. So you can see here, this is the exact URL that my students would need to participate. So I'm going to copy the URL or the website. Now, again, like I said before, if I were to just bring this into Schoology and just paste this website in as is, it's going to open up a new window and the students would then be outside of Schoology to play this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to a website that's called iframe generator and there's a lot of iframe generators out there and basically what this does is it takes a website address like I just copied from Kahoot and it generates coding HTML coding for this so that I can embed it directly into my website or in this case my Schoology page. So again, this looks very intimidating. I will leave the link to this iframe generator particular site that I'm using um, in the information below this video. Um, but the site is iframe-generator.com. So down here, you can see it's looking for the iframe URL. So I'm now going to paste that URL that I just copied from Kahoot. That's here. You don't really need to mess with any of these other things. There are some other sites that you embed that you might have to but Kahoot, I found you don't have to do that. So I'm going to click on generate. So now it generated it, this long, scary looking code. And again, you don't have to know anything about it other than how to copy it. And there's a button right there for it. So now I'm going to copy it. And now I'm going to come back over to my course and I'm going to look for where I want to put this. So let's say I want this to go in my uh, Tuesday activities that the students are going to work on. So I'm going to create a page for this. And I'm going to click on page. And a page is basically just informational. They're not submitting anything of that nature. So a page will work with this, but also an assignment would as well. So I'm going to call this Kahoot Science. Spell that correctly. Practice. So here, where do I paste that code? So if I just paste the code right here in this box, that's what the students are going to see is that long, scary code. But if you come over to the right-hand side of this window here, 
going to see here, I can switch from what the text box is that I'm normally familiar with to the back end of how this site was created, the HTML coding. So again, you don't even have to really know what I'm talking about because all you need to do is know how to switch that, paste that scary coding, and then I'm going to click Create. Now I'm not going to see anything yet. So in order to see if I was successful in my fancy schmancy coding that I did here, which was really not coding, I'm going to click on that page that I just created. And once this loads, you're going to see my Kahoot show up. Here it is. So now, instead of the students just clicking on that website address and having to jump outside of Schoology and potentially getting lost in the internet world, they're going to be playing this game directly in here. And they do have the option to make this bigger, but all they need to do is then put in their information and they are ready to go and they can then participate in this. Um, and that's basically it. There are other websites that will work like this as well. And it's the same type of formatting that you do in terms of getting a URL, going to the iframe generator, and then pasting. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know.